All right, now multiple default Samsung applications from One UI 7 have been leaked and we have already seen apps like Clock, Calendar in my previous videos. And uh, just a day ago, we have got a couple of more apps which have been leaked on APK Mirror. We have got Calculator and Reminder application now available to download on your Galaxy phones. Even if you're not running uh, the One UI 7.0, you will be able to install these APKs on your devices and enjoy some new features. In this video, I would like to showcase the Reminder application, the brand new Reminder app from One UI 7, which comes with some brand new features. I'll also compare the current calculator application with this brand new one. Keep watching this video. But before we go ahead, if you want to stay updated with everything that is happening around your phone, then you need to subscribe to this channel. This is one stop shop for all your app updates, all your system updates, new features, tips and tricks, Galaxy watch related videos and anything related to technology I will be sharing on the channel. So go ahead, subscribe and become a part of this growing community. And yeah, do not forget to hit that like button as well. Now let's go ahead. The first thing that you're going to note is the brand new icon that we have now got. Let me just bring this closer to the camera here. You can see all these four applications have got the new icons, the new reminder icon you can see here and the new calculator icon you can see here. These are the two new apps that we're going to discuss in this video. We also got an APK for uh, the Samsung internet application, but for some reason it is not working on my phone. I will keep you guys posted about that. For now, let's check out the reminder application. Let me compare this with the uh, current version of Reminder. Let me open Reminder on the Galaxy S23 Ultra. On this device I have installed this APK and let me also open the Reminder here on the Galaxy S24 Ultra. Now you can see here there is a slight difference in the background of these reminders. These tabs are squarish on the uh, older version or the current version and these are more rounded here you can see all this background here in gray color, you can see it's all rounded. Even these tabs over here, these are more rounded compared to the current version. You can see the add reminder box here. This is also slightly bigger on the new version and on the previous version, it is slightly smaller. And when I tap on that, you can see we'll be able to add the reminders here. And the big change here is on the new version, on One UI 7's reminder application, we have got calendar option as well as the map icon right here, which is not there in the current version. Now let's say I want to add some reminder here. Let's say bring milk and I want to quickly add the time here or the date here. I can tap on this icon. You see one day from now, three days from now, one week from now, one month from now, and then we can add a preset. Let me tap on add preset. Here we have one day from now, three days from now, one week from now, and one month from now. We can also reorganize this by uh, pressing and holding on this arrow icon and we can tap on add preset. This is where we'll be able to create our own preset. Let's say I want to add three or four days from now. I can tap on save. We've got four days from now option, which will appear while uh, selecting. You see, we have got four days from now option and we can tap on add preset again if you want to add something more and we can also select time here. You can select your own time preset and uh, add it right here. Now, you, let me tap on this time icon. Now these are the time options available, one hour from now, 7 a.m., 3 p.m., 10 p.m. You can add your own preset here, which will also appear right here. So it's pretty easy to set the date and time with this brand new option that we have got on the new reminder application. Now here you can see when you tapped on this calendar icon, you will see this time option. And if you just tap on backspace, it will give you the location option. I can tap on the location option. It says arriving home, leave home, when I get in the car, when I get out of the car, and you can create your own preset. Now here I can select arriving home. What happens is whenever I arrive home, the phone will recognize it and it will instantly show me the reminder to bring milk, which is just amazing. I would rather select this option here when I get out of the car so that I get a reminder as soon as I reach home and when I get out of the car to bring the milk from the nearby store. So I will just set this option. So it is very easy to set the time, date, as well as the location here on this new reminder application, whereas here, we have to uh, tap on a plus button instead of uh, this box here. We have to tap on the plus button where we can set the time, place and uh, title here. But on the previous version, it is accessible right here inside this box. That is the first big improvement we have got on the reminder application. Now let me tap on the hamburger menu here and go to settings. Now here we have got some brand new alert backgrounds uh, like we saw in my previous videos. You can see these are the current ones that we have on the reminder application 
And these are some new ones. You can see some gradient uh, options that we have got here now. We've got a mix of gradient color options here on the new version. And you can also see this capsule design here, which resembles the charging animation capsule on the lock screen and the live activity toggle on the lock screen. You can see these capsule designs here again. So the design language is going to be something like this. Everywhere we are going to see these capsules, rounded corners. And on the current version, you can see we have got this minus button here and plus button here. We've got a tiny capsule here to snooze the reminder. And we've got dismiss and complete button right here. Whereas on the current version, we have, this is a new dismiss and complete button that we have got. And you can see this uh, notification also in bold here along with the time it shows right here which is informative whereas on the current version it's a small font without the time here that's another big improvement we have got on the new reminder app on the one ui 7.0 and in the settings we have got a small change here you can see under general we have got show reminder on app screen we have got the same on the current version default category is mentioned here default category has been moved to the next uh, tab here and then we have the recycle bin here which has been moved to the center here under general category so nothing major just a small sequence change they have done under general settings then we have got notifications privacy options about reminder contact us there is nothing changed here let me just go back and here you can see we can select the reminder Microsoft to do options which is also there in the current version uh, and uh, we have got this uh, new icon here for reminder in this capsule now. Now let's move on to the next important change that is the widget. Let's press and hold on the home screen, tap on widgets, search for reminder widget. You can see on the current version we have two widgets here and on the upcoming One UI 7 version we just have one widget here and I'm not very sure whether we are going to get just one widget. Uh, this is an APK so this may not be the final, final variant. So this may remain one or they may add one more widget in the final official version. So for now we have got this option here. You can see this is the all reminder widget. I will just select this and add it to the home screen and this is how it looks. Actually the new one looks pretty cool. It has got this uh, black background we get to select a uh, frosted glass background as well. Let me just press and hold on this and tap on settings. I'll do the same here as well. Now you can see the settings have been changed. We've got category on the top. We can set the category that we want for this particular widget. And then we have got sort by option, which is also there here. And we have pin important to top, show completed reminders. And background option, we can enable or disable the background right away here, but we don't have that option here. We'll have to use the slider to decrease the transparency and make it uh, completely transparent. But here we can tap on background option to make it transparent. And uh, we have got match phone setting option, light and dark mode option. If you're on dark mode, we can select the uh, we can select the light mode for the widget, which is amazing. And we saw this transparency toggle on the calendar application as well. We get three steps now. Earlier we had different options. We could set 10%, 20%, 30% like this. We could uh, increase or decrease the transparency here. Uh, whereas in the current version, we just have three options. Bring it down to the frosted glass effect or at the center, uh, it is slightly darker and complete pitch black background option also we have got for the widget, which is just amazing. Let me tap on save and save here. As you can see, this is how it looks. This looks actually pretty cool. You get these lines between these reminders. Whereas on the previous version, we did not have those lines uh, between every reminder. We just have those lines between the categories here or the months here. Here we have got it between every reminder. Now for some reason, this frosted glass effect is not showing up properly. Maybe in the final version, we will get it. Let me show you that. Now here you see, this is the frosted glass background. Uh, when I tap on save, it is more of a, a light transparent effect that we get, but still it looks pretty cool on this widget. Now these are some major changes and improvements on the new reminder application. Much before the One UI 7.0 release, we are able to experience this thanks to APK Mirror for offering these uh, APKs for these new applications. They have been doing a great job. Now let me check out the calculator application. You can see this is the brand new icon and this is the current icon. Let me open this. Now there is only one change which has happened that is the font of the uh, numbers that you see here or the symbols that you see here. It is slightly bolder and slightly bigger here compared to the current version. Apart from that, there is no change here on the calculator application. Let me turn the light mode on here. You see this is how it looks. Let me remove the uh, color palette here. 
Let me disable this. Now we will get the default uh, application. Okay, now this is the default app that you see. Just ignore this mark here. This is a physical damage uh, which happened on my phone some time ago. Most of you guys know it, but if you're new on the channel, uh, just ignore this particular uh, dot here. I know it is annoying, but unfortunately I got a physical damage on this device here. Now this is how it looks. We have got gray, white and black combination here. Whereas on the current version, this is how it looks. Now this is one big change which has happened on the calculator application. Apart from that, there is nothing else on the calculator application. Now since I've turned on the light mode, you can see the widget here. This is the glass effect that we are getting. Let me tap on settings. Now let's uh, go to the, let's increase the transparency here. This is complete white. This is the uh, middle option that we have. Let me set it to glass effect here. Now this is how it looks. Let me show you this, the current version. So this is the transparency we get. We don't really get this effect which is on the One UI 7. This is how we get on the current version. Anyways, now these are the changes we have got on the reminder application and calendar application. Let me know what do you think. If you are interested in downloading these APKs, I will leave a link for those in the description. Go ahead, download it. And if you're interested in this wallpaper, you can uh, download them as well. I will leave a link for all these wallpapers in the description. Every video I post will have brand new wallpapers. That's about it. I hope you have already subscribed to the channel and hit that like button. I would really appreciate that. You guys take care and stay safe. I'll see you in the next one soon. Cheers. Bye-bye.